Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what's good, everybody? Quick shit vid. Just got a quick shout out to do. Uh, shout out to Alan, who I met in everybody's last week, who were out with his daughter, just having a few beers while I was DJing. So, yeah, nice to meet you. Shout out to Alan. Um, quick talk on performance today. I actually thought we played really quite well, to be honest. Obviously, Newcastle are a very good side. I thought defensively we were brilliant. I've no idea why Bamford were on that penalty. I saw it and I just thought, like, I don't know that it's like the type of shit that they do when it's like 10 games to go and you just think, oh, let's get him back in the road. It doesn't really matter how or where we get the goals from, does it? We just need to score. I fear that it's uh, it's one of them moments, like a massive moment. Obviously, it's 2 0, it just changes absolutely everything. Sam Allardyce, Big Sam's interview after were quite good. He said we made it really hard for ourselves, which we did because with it being two penalties. The, the wobber, 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 knobber, whatever the fuck he's called, who has been brilliant for us since he's got here, to be fair, but that is a wild challenge. That is more, that's more unacceptable or inexcusable than Bamford's miss. Bamford can miss, people can miss penalties, but that is just wild. That's what they actually get paid for, like, you know, going over and leathering him like that is beyond the pale, but I, I've... I've spent so much time defending Bamford. It was a weak penalty. Why Rodrigo's not on that penalty, I have no idea. He's got the most goals. He's a big moment player. He wants to take that penalty. Just let him take the penalty. At least he'll put some whip on it. But it is what it is. We showed loads of fight. I actually, I know Firpo got sent off, but I actually thought Firpo played really quite well. I thought Greenwood were really good. Really tricky for that for that. Uh, for the penalty incident that though when Firpo went through I thought Harrison's touch to set Bamford up for the cross Rodrigo's header I mean I actually thought Pope were pretty poor for their first goal to be fair like he sort of he scooped it back out rather than try to sort of push it away from post but I don't care obviously and then Erling just tapped it in but yeah I thought that passage of play were brilliant I thought Harrison were good Um for sure were good when he came on, he steadied the ship a bit and you know, a bit and nice and aggressive. I think Big Sam's got it pretty right, and he we're back to basics. It's like back to common sense football. Like we spent we made it quite scrappy at times, sent ball up in air quite a lot, but it is literally where we're at now, isn't it? It's just about getting some points on board. So Notts Forest have drawn with Chelsea to all, which Chelsea is just so bad at the minute, you just cannot. I mean it's good for Fat Frank because I enjoy watching him be shit, but it's you know, you just when they want a result, it's just like, oh, give us the result. So, they're, we're now three points off them. We have gone up a place into 17th. Uh, sorry, into 18th. So, it's all Everton and Leicester really fighting it out. Southampton are done, dead, gone. Um, They got beat today to Fulham, so they're out of it. So, Everton have got a game in hand on us, but it is Man City tomorrow, so you would only assume that Man City will turn them over tomorrow, and then it is on next week. It starts getting really going. We need a win at West Ham, big time. It'd be interesting to see if he starts Greenwood again. I personally would. He's meant to be the set piece king in Greenwood, but it's not. Um, I, I don't know. Sometimes I think like when Forshaw started delivering it, you put it in a bit more of an area. I think sometimes when you're whipping it so much, putting so much like pace and curl and everything's got to be absolutely it's like hitting a golf ball it's got to be perfectly clean and if you're not hitting it perfectly clean it's just shit so but you know he's obviously doing that because he can deliver the ball in that way but you know the only person i remember really pinging a crossing like that from corners were always on re he used to really put loads of whip on him and obviously we all know how good on re was so yeah, and I think it's, I don't know, I'm just going off on a, on a wild tangent here, but if you're just practising set pieces, like, you know, over in corner and you just get whipping a ball and whipping a ball and whipping a ball in, it gets, you know, you get you get your eye in, but when you, you know, you get two chances a game tops, it's like much more difficult evidently, evidently to get that one right, you know. So having lining 10 balls up and then starting whipping them in is a very different thing. But yeah, that's my quick ship vid. Overall... Happy with today, even though we really could have taken the three points, I do believe, had we not been so crazy. Um, but showed a lot. And then when we went down to ten men, I still thought we would look strong and solid. McKenney looked a lot better in there. I was glad to see back a rocker. Glad to see Onisi Aronson for ten minutes. So, yeah, onwards and upwards. What's everybody's thoughts? Well, hopefully upwards. I think 
Big Sam, if we'd have brought Big Sam in earlier on, I, I do think we'd have been safe, to be honest. I just think it's like, Gracia came in and had an instant impact, I must say that, but it fell away, didn't it? I think Big Sam's just common sense football, to be honest. And when you're down in the dumps like that, it's just about getting everybody on board, everybody behind it. Rodrigo always looks really up for it. I'm surprised he dropped him against Man City because he does always look bang at it. But yeah, see what happens over the weekend now. Fuck Notts Forest off. Let's focus on Everton and Leicester and then see if we can catch Forest in the meantime. Just get as many points as we If we don't lose now to end the season, I think we're up. I think we'll do it. So obviously a loss creates a word that I'm not quite springing to mind. So yeah, a loss creates problems, but that's not the word I was thinking of. It's not scepticism. Uh, it's right on the end of my tongue. But nobody cares. In a bit, everybody. Where they've been, the results they've had, one defeat in 13. I've got Muppets from Leeds talking about Precious on us and Bamford and Foreshaw and uh, a couple of others, and it's over to you and this, that, and the other. They got beat seven times since Christmas. We've been, been beaten once. We've set it up from Christmas to be in the right. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Surprises why I